In this video clip, I'm going to show you um, a little bit more about uh, user pools. I did mention them in the prior one when we created a data mover job in the UI and we elected to use a user pool. Well, it would help, I guess, if you saw something about how that's defined. So I'm in the, um, I'm on the uh, data mover server right now. And what I'm going to do is to show you what the uh, what the definition or how you define a user a user pool. So I'll retrieve the one that exists and then I'll show you how you might make changes to add one in. So we're going to do a data move list configuration. And data move will then read its configuration, save it into a local file. And you'll see that it's written to a file called configuration.xml. So I will edit that. And now it's already uh, at this point where the user pool has been set up. You'll see it starts uh, with the property uh, of job.useUserID pool. So that's the name of the property. It's set for true. And then under this, we actually have a sub key for target user pool. And this is where you define the systems and the users on those systems that will be part of the user pool. So here I've got Astro defined. And I've only got three users in here, uh, user 0, user 1, and user 2. Um, you'll notice that they've already shown there's no password but it's encrypted well when you retrieve the configuration it's not going to tell you what the password is so you can't just read a password um, and you could just resubmit it this way and it would be fine but if you were doing this from scratch you wouldn't have the encrypted password in so I'll take that out and you actually do have to put the password in so you'd have to in the bracket in between the keyword password and password you would have to add password whatever the password is not the word password but the real password and you do the same for user two, 1 and 2 all the users you have and then uh, for the next system that you want to have a pool on and I've only done it for 3 but you would normally have maybe 10 or 20 so I've done it for Astro I've done it for Chile here and I've got the same sort of thing you will notice though that these are in between the system name which is there, system name, that area, and the end of the system. So you got the slash system. So these are XML formats. It's the start, is the less than system um, token, if you will, and then you finish it with the less than slash system and uh, greater than symbol. Um, that's the way that we, uh, we you format. Uh, XML documents and then you have groups of these systems defined as you see here inside the target pool or the job.useID pool structure and once you finish with that I'll just quit from there leave it as was um, to save that now you would do a data move save configuration and then tell it what file to use in this case it will be your configuration XML or if you change the name of it because uh, you may have several configurations you want to use you whatever for configuration and you execute that and that now re repopulates the new information into the configuration database for data mover and that's how we define user pools in Data Mover. 